Hi, my name is Olga. In this Sun Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the chain physics template. This template allows you to build simple chain dynamic simulations using position-based dynamics approach. This template is great for creating a lens with earrings, chains, things that can wobble, and more. Let's get started. First, open Lens Studio and select the Chain Physics template. The Chain Physics template relies on the chain controller to drive the simulation of each chain. It provides several options to modify how your simulation looks. Let's start by taking a look at those options. To modify the chain controller settings, select the object that contains the chain controller script. For this video, we'll select the leaf earring chain object in the objects panel. Here you can see how the simulation is set up. At the top of the controller, there is a list of objects that get modified by the script. In this case, we have a list of joints that represent each segment of the earring chain. The first joint in the array is the object chain is pinned to. Additionally, we have an empty thin object at the end that will help us to calculate the rotations of the last object. You can see these joints in the objects panel by expanding the leaf earring chain objects hierarchy. Let's play with some of the parameters. Modify the stiffness parameter to specify how stiff the constraint between each joint is. We can set our chain to have a rigid type if we want to keep the distance between each joint constant or elastic if we want to allow the distance between joints to change. Set the iterations parameter to change how fast the distance between each segment comes to the target distance during the simulation. Note that increasing the number of iterations will have a performance impact on your lens, since it's making more mathematical calculations per frame. Modify the time speed parameter to set the simulation speed. Change the force parameter to set a direction of acceleration that affects chain joints. Enable the is relative checkbox if you want the acceleration direction to be relative to another object. For example, set relative to parameter to head binding an object to make acceleration always pointed the same direction from the head. Set the edge rotation checkbox to rotate joints in the way so each joint is looking towards a consequent one. Alternatively, instead of using edge rotation checkbox, you can add a look at components to the joint objects. Take a look at the Chain Physics template guide on the Lens Studio website to learn more about how you can modify the options in the chain controller. Now, let's see how we can set up our own chain. In this video, we'll create a chain of spheres. Create a new sphere and make four copies of it. Let's call them sphere 1 to sphere 5. Place them at the desired distance from each other. To keep things organized, let's make them all the children of an empty object and rename the new object to chain parent. Next, we'll add the chain controller script to start simulating our chain. To do this, select the chain parent in the inspector panel and press Add New, Script and select the Chain Controller script in the script folder. Now we can add the segments of our chain. Click on the Add Value button of the Joints parameter to create five fields for the joints. Assign all the spheres objects to the joints array values. The chain will be attached by the object that is set as the first element of joints array. Try to move the first sphere in the scene panel and you should see how the chain behaves on the preview panel. Modify the settings described before to achieve desired behavior. Another way you can set up a chain is by using a skin mesh. Rather than moving separate objects as before, this technique will allow you to modify one object's mesh. We can start by importing a model rigged to a bones. Import your FBX file to the Lens Studio by dragging and dropping the file into the Objects panel. Then add the Chain Controller script. Now, in the Joints array, instead of selecting the mesh itself, we will add the bones of our mesh. You can modify the constraint, force and rotation settings as before. 
Take a look at the Chain Physics template page found in the Lens Studio website for more in-depth information. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own Chain Physics lenses.